Artuno sa ambay pa pala tuna bira eh. Indo pa pala bira sa ando sa tingin tingin lang magi. Ilu eh. When they start to see uh, turtles nesting higher up in the tree line or the sand dunes, it can indicate three or four months ahead of time that the cyclone season will be very active and in fact very severe. We are losing a lot of our knowledge, our living libraries, our elders are passing on and this information has not even been collected. There's wealth and depth that we haven't even gone deeply into. And once this knowledge is lost, we, there's no way of getting it back. So when it sprouts, the leaves sprouts upwards, and when it continues to crawl upwards, it gives an indication that a tropical cyclone is on its way. We have worked with one of the NGO, one government organization groups in the community, which is the New Year Girls and Boys Brigade, to um, also start this program in monitoring the yam because we wanted to verify the, the stories or the information that had been passed on by our, our elders. We wanted to see if it is um, true or not. For myself personally, I've seen how this project has elevated and provided validation of traditional knowledge as an important source of data that can be used in scientific research and information. It has also benefited our communities by allowing the intergenerational transfer of knowledge. I think it's definitely very useful for um, the younger generation to learn both worlds, uh, the scientific world and also the traditional knowledge uh, world. The two uh, coming together will make a very effective way of adapting to climate change. Science gives you that bird's eye view of what is to come. It predicts, it can predict, for example, where the cyclone track will be heading. But what traditional knowledge gives you is that downscale view of what the impacts will be based on stories that were passed on, as well as giving you coping mechanisms. So it's very important to have this collaboration between the two and bring the two together. And that way we can have a more effective way of understanding how to respond to climate change within our own context or within our own needs.